Hey everyone, Pastor Kerry here, coming to you from Anchorage, Alaska. Well, not really, it's our Northeast parking lot, but if you see a theme in my last couple videos, it's not the subject so much as the setting. You might recall the last time I came to you, I was standing in about a foot of snow in the middle of an unplowed street talking about how we need to let God clear the way and remove from our lives anything that could keep us from getting where he wants us to in this new year. Well, that's been well over a month ago, and I don't think it's stopped snowing since. And on top of that, we've been in the middle of an Arctic blast and sub-zero temps for most of the past week. I think it's actually 20 below zero wind chill right now. I was telling somebody just this Sunday that this pile of snow here probably won't disappear completely until sometime in May. And all this has got a lot of people wondering when it's all going to end. Well, this is winter in Iowa, and as extreme as it's been, there's one thing we know about all the seasons we've experienced, uh, is that they will come to an end, and things will change. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22 says that as long as the earth remains, there will be springtime and harvest, winter and summer, day and night. You know, the same is true about the seasons of life. The longer you live and the more you've uh, seen seasons come and go, we've all experienced changes and transitions and sometimes it's exciting and dynamic and we feel on top of the world and at other times we just want to go away and escape the situations. But Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. And if you look at that chapter 3, it lists all the kinds of things that go on in life. And while the variety is nice and each season brings its own set of adventures and opportunities and challenges, there are certain seasons of life that we're just glad to see in our rearview mirror. But whether we're in a tough time that we'd like to see come to an end or a, a good time that we just hope will last a bit longer, one thing is for sure, no matter what season of life you're in, uh, it doesn't last forever. And so I just want to challenge you, don't get stressed or over anxious in the tough times and don't get complacent in the easier times. We're going to face both and we need to be consistent in our spiritual growth and disciplines amid all those changes. And, and don't let your perspective get skewed by obsessing over the season you're currently in. You know, a lot of times we base our entire outlook and our attitude on uh, that particular season. For example, when it's 10 below, it's easy to wish that we were sweating in the summer sun, but when summer comes and it's 105 and humid, uh, we might love to jump into this snowbank. It's all about the perspective. And, and when the present is all you can see, whether you think that's good or bad, it's easy to draw the wrong conclusions about what's happening in our lives or the reasons for it. And just remember that God is at work in every season and he has a plan and a purpose to make your uh, life everything it needs to be and to work out everything for good. You know, toward the end of that, Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse 11, it says that God uh, makes everything beautiful in its time. And also he has put eternity in our hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. You know, and keep in mind that the end isn't just what happens in this life. I mean, it's true. We don't see the, the big picture, but in our hearts, we know that there's more going on and more ahead of us than just what we see going on in this life. So be patient with the process and, and trust God to help you learn from every season and to let those experiences just bring you closer to Jesus. And that means being consistent in your spiritual disciplines and being in God's word regularly and talking with him constantly in prayer and serving in the church, regardless of how the seasons change. And don't let your faith fluctuate with the seasons, uh, except to grow stronger. Uh, and that doesn't mean you're not going to question or struggle at times. It just means that you, you keep hanging on to God and relying on Him as much as ever to sustain you when things are tough and, and you have no idea what's going on or when it's all going to end. And when that happens, don't make rash decisions or hasty or foolish choices based on the seasons. Let faith, not your feelings, dictate your choices. You know, in Psalm chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, it tells us that if we take delight in God's Word and we direct our lives by the Word, uh, there will be growth and we will see good fruit in our lives in time, in the right season. So let God teach you and build you and guide you through every season of life, uh, even when it feels like this and spring is coming 
and God will bring changes and newness in His time. And that's true in this life and in the life eternal that is ours through a personal relationship with Jesus. So next time I do this, it will look different, I can assure you. And so will your life in a good way if you're trusting Christ. And so until that next time, be at peace, keep the faith, keep warm, and be joyful in every season. Because while seasons change, God never changes.